Welcome to Introverts Own Your Voice. I'm Tom Marcoux. And I'm Johanna McLeod. This episode is How to Stop Sounding Unsure and Come Across with True Confidence. Johanna, I have a question for you. When do you think you start to sound unsure? Uh, during this broadcast? <laughs> okay. Which is really something what you just did there. You just demonstrated an element of what sounds unsure. Mm-hmm. Sounds that are not words like uh, mm -hmm. ah, er, all these sounds that make someone sound uncertain about their truth, mm -hmm. about what they're trying to communicate. So we need to do something about those sounds. Mm -hmm. In order to sound certain and to demonstrate true confidence, mm -hmm. we're going to need to take action. You can make yourself clear in your mind, in how you express yourself with your body, mm -hmm. your voice, with how you sound, the vocal intonations. You can do this, and our focus word now is can, and every letter is going to stand for a method. Mm -hmm. C stands for cancel default rehearsal. Ooh, that sounds interesting. What's that? Default rehearsal is what we all do. We often ruminate. If you are concerned about a particular speech, and if you had a bad experience in high school, I have been sad about some high school debate classes are just the worst places to learn how to give a speech. Mm -hmm. Because they make you feel bad. Mm. And they also put you in a situation where you're not ready for it. Mm -hmm. And they don't give you the tools to recover if your mind goes blank. I always teach recovery methods as the first thing to MBA students. If your mind goes blank, you say... I need to pause for a moment. I want my response to be valuable to you. Mm -hmm. If your mind goes blank, trying to answer a question. Or if your mind goes blank right in the middle of your speech. And just say, at this moment, I want to emphasize. Mm. That takes something different than default rehearsal. Default rehearsal is rerunning the things that went wrong in the past. It also puts you into what I call a default setting. See, what we know from research is that when people are under stress, they fall back to their default settings. And I'm saying that people rehearse the wrong things. They rehearse the wrong ideas. They rehearse the wrong memories. They rehearse the wrong ways of expressing something because that's all default. Mm -hmm. And if you're trying to prepare for a speech, I was stunned. Like when I directed a play mm -hmm. and some of the actors were rehearsing. I saw them. They were rehearsing by going over, just reading the script. You don't do that. You have to vocalize it. You have to say it out loud. Uh -huh. Use your instrument. And so we needed to get away from default rehearsal with all those terrible things, including rumination about bad things. Mm -hmm. And we need to get into something. And the letter is A. We need to add directed rehearsal. Mm -hmm. Now, I've been a director for decades now, whether it was live theater or feature film or other films or mm -hmm. videos. Mm -hmm. The thing is, I've always been about pulling the best performance from the person mm -hmm. out of their truth. And directed rehearsal means that we're going to rehearse our recovery methods. Mm. Directed rehearsal means we're going to rehearse how to take a question. Directed rehearsal means we're going to rehearse how to have poise, even though we don't know what to say next. Mm -hmm. Directed rehearsal is the essence of a lot of what I do mm -hmm. with my clients because I have them get ready for the worst questions mm -hmm. and have what I call if-then patterns. Mm. If they say this, I have A, B, and C to respond with. Yes. So that means if someone prepares for the 10 worst questions, you have 30 responses. Oh, my goodness. Because you have three ways to respond to each one of the worst questions. Directed rehearsal. Tom, I have a question for you. Suppose I have a speech tomorrow and I only have so much time to work with. What do you suggest with that? I don't think I can fit that many responses into one evening's practice. I'm with you. So you're giving me the opportunity to give you the instant first aid kit. <laughs> so what we got here is water. If you get stuck, you can always reach for the water. Mm -hmm. That'll give you time to think. Mm -hmm. See, you're only giving me like two, three minutes to work with the instant first aid kit. Mm -hmm. So practice that one. At this moment, I want to emphasize. Mm -hmm. See, so you have one thing to do if your mind goes blank. If somebody asks you a question, you have one thing to do, which is that one where I need to pause a moment. I want my response to be valuable to you. Mm -hmm. 
So practice these recovery methods. Mm -hmm. That's directed rehearsal. Also practice the first sentence. Practice the last sentence. These are important. Your very first sentence, good, strong first impression. Mm -hmm. Last sentence of your speech, good, strong ending impression. Mm -hmm. You can make a couple of mm -hmm. errors in the mm -hmm. middle, but the good, strong impression is important because we want the audience to go, am I in the hands of a pro or an amateur? Mm -hmm. Of course, we want you to come across as a pro, which means you don't fumble the opening of your speech mm -hmm. and you don't fumble the ending of your speech. In fact, if you got cut off early because someone waves at you saying that, you know, they do the gesture of cut it now, it's over for your instant first aid kit, practice mm -hmm. the phrase of, and that's the final thing I want to share. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So you can get out of the speech, but don't look like, oh, thud, thud, thud. I fumble, 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 mm. which happens to a lot of people because they go over time and they get cut off. Mm -hmm. So that's important, which leads us next to the end, which is nurture your energy. You have to have the energy in order to do directed rehearsal. Mm -hmm. You have to have the energy to rehearse. You have to have the energy to find the good words. You have to have the energy to take care of yourself and to be strong and positive and happy in the moment when you're talking to somebody. What or happens when you don't have that energy, Tom? Well, I would strongly suggest you listen to a lot of our previous episodes <laughs> because that's a big topic. Mm -hmm. But I would say do what you know you need. Mm -hmm. One of my mentors said that sometimes what you need most is a nap. Mm, yes. Or sometimes you need most just to take a walk around the block. Mm -hmm. I used to do this when I was studying for more than 12 hours for finals in college. Mm -hmm. Every 50 minutes, I go take a walk outside the building of the library. Mm -hmm. And taking that walk refreshed me. It also gave my mind a chance to go to neutral. And that's the thing. Do what you have to do to nurture your energy. This looks like a good time for a Marku moment. That's when I share an excerpt from one of my 47 books up on Amazon. The excerpt is from Amazing You. Enjoy the power to get it done, get stronger, get credit for it. And it includes secrets of extreme confidence. So on page 87, the section is Drop Fear and Procrastination. I submit to you that procrastination arises from fear. I emphasize the difference between a conventional approach and an extreme confidence approach. The conventional approach is try to tough out fear and pain. The extreme confidence approach focuses on place a system so you automatically do something positive when a trigger hits you. Mm. A system can be as simple as send a follow-up email immediately upon hanging up the phone. A system does not have to be elaborate. The point is to make your next action into something that is automatic. So that's the end of our excerpt from the book, Amazing You. Enjoy the power to get it done, get stronger, get credit for it, and featuring secrets of extreme confidence. Mm -hmm. So Joanna, I'm wondering, what are you going to keep from our conversation today? Well, what I want to emphasize is... <laughs> okay, you got it. You got it. That's right. One of those recovery methods. And now I want to emphasize. Mm -hmm. Well, that sounds good that yes. you held on to that. And I'll emphasize that we were focused on three things using the word can. Cancel default rehearsal. Add directed rehearsal. And nurture your energy. Thank you, Joanna. Thank you, Tom. Click to subscribe to this channel. And then you'll be supporting Johanna, me, and our message. Tom helps people in other ways. As a spoken word strategist and executive coach, I help people really connect and get yes. I help them with their speeches, pitches, video marketing, and networking. And I help them prepare for that crucial life-changing meeting. As you're ready to go to the next step, see special videos, find out about my books and coaching at getthebigyes.com forward slash next step. And so remember, perform at your best with words, strategy, and rehearsal for your success.